Hey everyone, Jennifer from Charles Speech with your Two for Tuesday. Today's words are hoard, um, a stock of valued objects, and hoard, a large group of people. So to say these two words, we're going to think about three sounds. We're going to start with the H. To do this, you're just going to let the air kind of puff out of your mouth. And the air is going to continuously come out. Next, we're going to move to the or sound. To do this, you're going to start with a pucker, and then you're going to move to that er sound with square tense lips. The tip of your tongue is either down for that R or flipped back. It just depends on how you make that sound. So we have or, or, or. So yes, it does kind of look like I'm puckering and then pulling my lips back. Then we're going to end with the D by touching the tip of your tongue to the back of your top front teeth. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about does the air puff out, does it not? You can kind of do either. So if you pull your tongue down and the air puffs out a little bit, you'll say the word hoard, hoard, hoard. But if you keep the tongue behind the top front teeth for that D sound, you are not going to have as much air puff out and it will sound like this, hoard, hoard, Horde. So let's give it a try in a sentence. The characters on The Walking Dead hoard food in case a horde of walkers attack. Give it a try. People are going to notice the difference if you found this helpful. Please give us a like and a share and a subscribe. Don't forget to check out our products on Google Play, iTunes, Teacher Pay Teachers, and Kobo, our on-demand classes on Udemy, and all of our other options for one-to-one -one courses and in-person lectures on Tarl Speech. Thanks.